Hey guys! Today we are looking at a death's head roach and a discoid roach. Look at the difference in size. Oh well, that's a good representation of it. <laughs> <laughs> the death's head roach is enormous compared to the discoid roach. And fun fact, the discoid roach is the false death's head roach, which this guy, they're named after. Isn't that neat? They're kept in similar conditions, though discoid roaches you can very much put in an enclosure without any kind of substrate due to their humidity requirements not being quite as strict as these guys over here. And if you look in my enclosure, I have about three inches of substrate plus leaf litter plus tape blocking this grating to leaving only a little bit of a vented area to allow them to have more humidity which helps them with their pretty wings. If you look at this roach right here, its wings are dang near perfect. This one's a little bit tattered. It's because they're in a drier conditions and the cardboard that they're in also d isn't exactly the best thing for their wings. Uh, but the conditions that you keep death's head roaches in, since they need humidity closer to 70 or 80%, it keeps their wings pretty and stuff like that. We'll just get a quick aerial real quick to show you inside of the death's head roach enclosure to see how different it looks and we'll get the discoid roach real quick. And this is the discoid roach enclosure. They're kept completely different but you know they're very similar animals their behavior all that but yeah I just wanted to show off the size difference today guys y'all have a great one. 